Hey, 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 Whippersnappers, this is Jordan with the Gray. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Jack and Daxter series. Uh, we recently, a couple weeks ago, we finished off Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. You guys can see here, 100% completed. Jack and Daxter has been beat, which means to date we are moving on to the second game in the series, Jack and Two. And I'm really excited about this. This game was a revelation when it came out, uh, for me at least. After playing Jack and Daxter, they just changed up the formula so much, and yet it still has some of that same charm and, and everything. And so we're going to move into Jack 2, and I hope you guys enjoy. Let's do it. the graphics in this game are so improved. You take a look at like Daxter there and stuff like that and the polygons in, in the first game and things like that. It's just, okay. I'm excited. This one's probably my favorite of the entire series. Jack 3 was really good and I really like Jack 1, but there's just something to get about this game. I think Jack 3 ended up being a little short for me after all the anticipation, but anyway, let's not get into that. We're in Jack 2 and I'm pretty excited to start this one with you guys. All right, we are going to be starting a new game. There is no save data. Would you like to create a Jack 2 save file? Yes, we would. Kicking things off here. And I haven't played ahead in this particular game. Uh, yeah, I mean, whatever. Just pick a, pick a slot here. Uh, I haven't played ahead in this game. I played a little bit ahead in Jack 1. For every in Jack and Dexter. Age, there is a time of trial. The rocks faced such a fire before they were the strength beneath our feet. The plants braved vast winds before their roots could give us life. As a sage of considerable years, I have known only one such great ordeal. Yet the hero it created was a champion for all time. Today's the big day, Jack. I hope you are prepared for whatever happens. I think I figured out most of this machine. It interacts somehow with that large precursor ring. I just hope we didn't break anything moving it here to the lab. Easy for you to say. We did all the heavy lifting. Daxter, don't touch anything. Though the precursors vanished long ago, the artifacts they left behind can still do great harm. Or great good, if you figure out how to use them. I've had some experience with such things. I know you can make it work. Looks like Jack still got the mojo. Interesting. It appears to be reading out some preset coordinates. So for those who recall, we found that portal at the end of Jack 1. Finally, the last rift gate has been opened. Yeah! What are those things? So this is how it happened. Do something, Jack! What's this do? All of that? How about this one? Anybody press all of that? What was that thing? Hang on, everyone! Yeah! I want all this thing! Find yourself, Jack! I swear, that's the last time I ever, ever touch any stupid precursor crap! There he is. Move in. Step away from the animal. Ah! Forget the rat. The Baron wants him. We've been waiting for you. Don't worry, Jack. I'll save you before you know it. Injection site 
cycle complete. Fire readings nominal and unchanged. Well, nothing. I was informed that this one might be different. He is surprisingly resistant to your experiments, Baron Praxis. I fear the Dark Warrior program has failed. Uh, you should at least be dead with all the Dark Eco I pumped into you. What now? Metalhead armies are pressing their attacks. Without a new weapon, my men cannot hold them off forever. I will not be remembered as the man who lost this city to those vile creatures! Move forward with the final plan, and finish off this thing tonight. As you wish. I'll be back later. Ding ding! Third floor! Body chains, roach food, torture devices! Hey buddy, you seen any heroes around here? Wow! What'd they do to you? Jack, it's me! Daxter! That's a fine hello! I've been crawling around in this place, risking my tail, literally, to save you! I've been looking for you for two years! Say something! Just this once! I'm gonna kill Praxis! Shh! Right now, we gotta get you out of here. Just let me figure out how to open the security locks for your chair so I can... Or, um, you can do it. Jack, easy now. Easy, buddy. It's, it's your old pal Daxter, remember? Daxter. What the heck was that? Sheesh! Remind me not to piss you off. Come on, tall, dark, and gruesome. We're out of here. I uh, brought you some new threads. Put them on. <laughs> okay, so uh, that is the introduction to Jack 2. I love that opening cinematic and everything like that. So for the, as, as I started saying, and then they started talking again, and I didn't want to interrupt the the opening cinematic. Uh, so that portal we went through, you guys will remember, with the 100% completion run, we found that portal. Um, hold on, we need to... Uh, Got to remember all of our skills. Maybe we can't go up that way. Uh, we can get up there. There's stairs over here. Um, we found that portal at the end of Jack and Daxter, and uh, it feeds into the beginning of this series. Um, a little bit of a tutorial thing here. There we go. And uh, so we tr went through the portal and uh, were transported somewhere. Um, we might find a few hidden around, or get some doing difficult tasks. We'll be able to buy stuff with them. Yeah. So yeah, we'll be able to uh, to you get precursor orbs just like we did in the last game, or power orbs, I guess, as uh, as we stated. I don't think we end up collecting power cells in this game. As I said, the formula changes a little bit. Um, press L1. Alert! Prison escape in progress. We do need to try. These precursor orbs are going to be useful, um, and I definitely am not going to be 100% completing this game. I know I say that in Jack and Daxter, um, but really, um, it's the, you know, things like that. It was kind of easy in Jack and Dax and Jack Two, which is the game we're playing now. Um, uh, it's uh, things are much more scarce and a little more difficult to find. Um, and so definitely not going to be 100% completing this game. No, wait, where did we... Is that not right? <laughs> I'm lost already. <laughs> so that's supposed to be this difficult. Uh, oh, up here. Okay, good. I was like, wait, what? Very confused for a second there. Okay. I ledge. Try jumping once. Double jump. And jump again while in the air to reach that one. There are lots of crimson guard crates lying around for the taking. Break that crate! All right, another thing that you guys probably noticed there was that uh, Jack had a bit of a transformation uh, as when Daxter... Was on high alert. Yes, 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 restricted sectors. Um, had a bit of a transformation when Dax came to uh, rescue him. Oh, is there a platform over here? Yeah. Um, and uh, that's going to come into play a lot in this particular game, and and I guess Jack three as well, um, because uh, Jack is uh, as we learned in the last game is pretty adept at using eco, um, and so when he was exposed to the dark eco, some something different happened. Uh, Daxter was changed into an otzel. Uh, Jack uh, something else altogether. Um,
And so we're in Haven City, and uh, we've got a whole new batch of enemies to take on. We've got these Crimson Guards who uh, who are <laughs> who are under the command of Baron Praxis, who we all met earlier. Um, and uh, Errol there, his uh, trusty second hand. Uh, but yeah, so we could get things out of these chests and stuff. We pick up Dark Eco and Health, and uh, we could take on the, the Crimson Guards here. Um, but yeah, so we've got a whole new... Uh, is this going to kill me? No, okay, I was going to say, there's probably a Precursor Orb down here. I don't know where they all are, but generally speaking, they're they're hidden away in places you probably wouldn't necessarily look. Uh, and so, just gotta keep that in mind as we're moving through. I think there's an oracle or two in this game. I don't remember exactly what all the precursor orbs end up getting used for, but, um... Oh, nope, that one's to the death. Okay. <laughs> we'll continue on then. Alright. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Keep moving. Keep moving, Jack. But it's actually funny. So, Daxter, we saw on the screen, it's been two years since uh, since they came through the portal into this area. And uh, Dax says he's been looking for him for those two years. And there's actually ended up being a handheld for the PSP. Um, there ended up being a game uh, called Daxter, which, uh, detailed his adventures during that period, which I, I played a little bit of, but I never actually owned a PSP, but my roommate in college had one, and so I bought a version of, the, I bought an, I bought the game, Daxter, uh, and used his PSP for a short time, but I never actually got around to beating it. Didn't have that unlimited of access to it. But, uh, but yeah, okay, so we've gotta get, get out of this citadel is the goal of today. Oh, we're gonna slide. Oh, well, there's probably an escape. You just uh, haven't conceived of it yet. All right, so let's get out of here. I probably have lower health because we died. So we've got a little bit more of a health bar going on. We also have, um, I think if I, how do I? Huh, okay, I was trying to get the HUD to pop up. Um, so we've got a bit of a health bar. We also more of a health bar. We only had three hits possible in the last game. We have a few more hits possible to us in this game. Um, and we also have another meter there, uh, which is going to uh, account for our Dark Eco intake. So we can collect a certain amount of Dark Eco um, and, uh, and then do exciting things with it. But here we go, escaping out of the fortress there. We need some fresh air, right. huh? We'll get that Baron Francis yeah. guy, all right? Yep. Oh. Hello, strangers. My name is Kor. May I help? You look like a reasonably smart man. I want information. Where the hell am I? Uh, sorry. He's new with the whole conversation thing. Well, my angry young friend, you are a guest of His Majesty, Baron Praxis, the ruler of glorious Avon City. I was just a guest in the good Baron's prison. Inside a cell or inside the city, walls surround us both. We are all his prisoners. Talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I I'd move on if I were you. By order of His Eminence, the Grand Protector of Haven City, Baron Praxis, everyone in this section is hereby under arrest for suspicion of harboring underground fugitives. Surrender and die! Excuse me, sir. Don't you mean surrender or die? Not in this city. Protect us from these guards, and I'll introduce you to someone who can help you. Requesting backup! Oh, oh gosh. So, uh, we collect the Dark Eco, and that gives us access to the transformation known as Dark Jack, uh, which is, uh, we have some control over, but, uh, yields much greater power than, uh, than normal Jack would. That was cool! Do it again. Something's happening to me. Something he did. I can't control it. Very impressive. Uh, you okay, Jack? 
What you just did was very brave. This child is important. This kid? He looks kind of scruffy. You are in a restricted zone. Move along. Thank you for your help, but I must get this boy to safety. Hey! What about us? He's an underground group waging war against Baron Praxis. Its leader, the Shadow, could use fighters like you. Go to the slums. Find a dead-end alley near the city wall. Ask for Torn. He can help you. Seal off the area! Alrighty. So, we escaped from the Citadel, and we are now in search of uh, members of the underground movement against... Alright. Follow the icons on the map to reach important destinations. Alright, so... Uh, we are on our way to find the underground. Now you can see in the bottom right there, we've got a map, and there's icons on the map that'll help us get a, a you know identify where we need to be heading. Uh, so the citadel or the the underground movement that we're trying to reach is indicated by the scimitar here. Um, now we can it's kind of Grand Theft Auto-y. We can you know we can attack random citizens, uh, but that'll that'll have these guards after us in a minute. We can borrow a car. Uh, which uh, let's see, I kind of like these mid-range cars. Let's uh. Welcome to the city. Can't borrow that, although that usually no. that didn't seem to trigger. But uh, usually the the guards don't like us doing that a whole lot either. Um, and R2 we can change hover zone so we can be up above or below. And uh, oof. <laughs> Steer oh, this is a dead end. Steering's not necessarily great on these, but uh, we'll head this way. And uh, back around here is where we will find our uh, current objective. So let's bail out of this guy. And activate. We're looking for a guy named Torn. Kor sent us. Um, are you Torn? Maybe this guy's a new, like you used to be. New faces make me nervous. Or it is you're out to join the fight for the city. You know, picking the wrong side could be unhealthy. We want to see the shadow. <laughs> Not likely. If you want to join something, why don't you and your pet go join the circus? <laughs> Unless you've got the fur for a really tough task. Steal the Baron's banner from the top of the ruined tower and bring it back to me. Then maybe we'll talk. All right, guys. So we have our first, well, I guess our second mission. First mission was to get out of the uh, Citadel. But now we have met up with the Underground against the Baron. And Torn, uh, one of its leaders, has tasked us with collecting a banner uh, in order to prove our medal. So uh, we're going to pick that up next time, guys. We're 18 minutes into this. I want to keep these episodes within a reasonable length. So I think we'll pick that up next time. But I'm really excited, guys. This is going to be a fun game. Uh, the graphics are better. The story is good, uh, and just the overall gameplay is a lot of fun. So I hope you guys will enjoy it, and we'll pick back up next time with the second episode of Jack 2. Alrighty, guys. See you then.